Explosion killed one person and left another injured near Liverpool Women's Hospital. The male passenger of the car was declared dead at the scene and is yet to be formally identified. The driver, also a man, remains in hospital in a stable condition. Authorities are keeping an open mind and counter-terror officers are leading the investigation to understand the circumstances of the explosion in a city that hasn't witnessed such incidents for decades. We are keeping an open mind as to what caused the explosion, but given how it has happened and out of caution, counter-terrorism police are leading the investigation supported by Merseyside Police. In a tweet released through Greater Manchester Police, Merseyside Police said three men aged 29, 26 and 21 have been arrested in the Kensington area of Liverpool under the Terrorism Act. Police continues the investigation. Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, said his thoughts are with those affected by the awful incident and thanked the emergency services for their response. The taxi carrying the two victims pulled up just before 11 a.m. at local time as a national two-minute silence for Remembrance Sunday was about to begin and it exploded. It is not yet known if there is a connection between the timing of the incident and the fact it occurred on Remembrance Sunday.